we need another row. Does that look cute? No, that doesn't look cute. What's up everybody, it's Kat, and today I want to talk to you about gender spectrum. Not the gender spectrum you're probably thinking of, which is all the possible genders you could be in the world, but the organization called Gender Spectrum and the conference they host every year that I like to go to. So Gender Spectrum is a really cool organization. Their mission is to help people understand about gender and the importance of that. And they host a conference, they actually host two conferences every year, one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast. Even though I live on the East Coast, I always go to the West Coast one, which is in California for the last two years. It's been in More Morega. It's been in Morega, and it has been an absolute blast. And the conference on the West Coast holds a very, very special place in my heart because essentially it was the jumpstart for my medical transition. Last year, after I came out to my mom, she did some research, as supportive parents should, and just anyone should. And she found this conference and signed us up for it. And like a week or so before, she's like, okay, we're going to the conference in California. Uh, hope you're ready. It's like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna, gonna not, not, not know anyone there, but uh, okay. Anyway, we get to the conference and it's really cool. They have a bunch of workshops and they actually have several different programs within the conference because it's created and organized for all ages. So all ages can learn about gender on their different levels. I was in the teen program, my mom was in the adult program, and because of that we both had different workshops we could go to. The teen program was more about self-loving and just fun things to do and creating your own style, while the adult programs, and we could go to the adult programs if we wanted to, had medical professionals there to talk, including Dr. Crane and uh, Marcy Bowers, I think is her name and Satterwhite, that is name. They were there this past year at least to talk and inform parents on the importance of transitioning and that the surgeries that their chil that these parents' children want are safe and how they can really, really affect their child's life. And back to wherever I was going with the story, it is essentially the jumpstart of my medical transition because I remember on that Saturday, it was lunchtime and uh, my mom I was waiting lunch or looking for my mom, texting or whatever, and we. she pulled me over and she just, she stood there and said, uh, told me, okay, uh, I've gone to a lot of workshops and I've learned a lot and I wanted to tell you that I'm ready. And that was a really, really important part for both her and I and just our relationship because she here she is telling me that she's ready, that she is ready for me to medically transition because being a minor, I couldn't have done this without her at all. And I'm so thankful for her support because she has just been amazing through it all. And I really, really wish that everyone had the support I have and have been able to transition as quickly as I have because it's just, it's that relief and just that warm feeling when your parents telling you that you know that they'll stand by you on the on your life changing journey. It's just it you need that support, and if, especially for a minor, to have that support. It's amazing, and I just I don't think I will ever forget that moment. And now because of this video, I know I'll never forget that moment. And I had been out for about six months, maybe six and a half, at that point, and just. I was ready to transition. I was ready to transition the moment I told her, the moment I came out. After that conference, literally everything was put in fast forward. It was really amazing how quickly we were able to get everything done. Six months later, I had my first endo appointment and then about a month after that, I got on testosterone. And then even a month after that, or two months or somewhere, just like within the next few months, I had my top surgery and my life is forever changed. and and I'm so much happier, but I just wanted to tell you all about this conference and these this organization because what they do is absolutely amazing. And uh, you don't you don't get a lot of conferences like this. I know there's the Philly Trans Health Conference, which is like the big one, but this one in particular, it's a tinier conference. And you just meet so many amazing people too, and so many friends uh, that I'll have probably for a lot of my young adult life, hopefully the rest of my life. And it just, it holds a very, very special place in my heart. Um, I've heard it's a little bit expensive though, so it's understandable if you can't make it out there, but at least look into this organization and this conference, because I'd love to meet some of you all if you can make the trip out there next year, because I'm definitely going. I love it so much, and I get to see my friends every year. 
And that's really, really all I wanted to talk about, just tell you all a little bit about this conference, and I'm blabbing, and I'm repeating myself because the train of thought's gone. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Wow.